What is the most disgusting thing you did willingly? On two separate occasions I've cleaned up my girlfriend and her puke. The first time she puked in bed while we were sleeping and the second time I got up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and I found her passed out on the bathroom floor in a puddle of her own puke. And yes, both times I washed all the sheets, I mopped the floors and I helped bathe her and I took care of her. And although that might seem gross to most people, when it's someone that you love and care about then you don't look at it in that way. At it since someone was asking, on both occasions she was drunk. I was on a boy scout campfire and this kid kept hitting me with his bamboo stick so I broke it in half and threw it away. He then decided to spit in my eye, so I proceeded to steal his bag of peanuts while he wasn't looking and filled the bag with my pee. I let it soak for a bit then poured the pee out and I let the bag dry in the sun for the rest of the day. The next morning I placed the bag back in his tent and watched him eat the whole bag. He periodically looked at the peanuts a little confused but he ate the whole bag of like 30 of them. It was excellent revenge. When I was living alone, I got really sick one time. I ended up getting food poisoning. In the middle of the night after like a whole day of barely eating anything and just throwing up and pooping all day, I felt like throwing up. I seriously couldn't even bring my own body up and I ended up throwing up beside my bed. I genuinely thought I'm gonna pass out and die in that moment. I wiped my face and went back to sleep. The next morning, in that sick and dehydrated state, I had to clean it up. That was the most exhausting and disgusting thing I've done. Hmm? Accidentally swallowed a dog tag off of a dog collar that we were using for a drinking game, and then promptly went to the bathroom, puked it up into the toilet and washed it off, and we continued to use it for the game. Also I ate a massive cobweb for $50 once. I was poor, and they didn't say how I had to eat it. Turns out, when you roll that fucker into a ball, it's tiny. I have other answers that top these by a fair margin but I worry about digital footprint. Injected heroin with a blunt syringe I'd used to unblock my bong. I mean, I gave it a good wash, and all. And a twist to get it into the vein. That, and I once wore the same shoes to work for 3 years, then soaked them in hot water and laundry soaker in my laundry sink while I went out for the night. Got back to a sink full of cold, nicely said, blue-black jelly, entombing a pair of shoes. Human gelatin. Not suitable for vegans. It was, however, delicious. JK had a student job at a meat quality research facility. One of the projects was to find further traces of lead in the shot wound of wild boars after the bullet was cut out. Lead bullets were not yet banned those days. Most of the boars had the wound on the neck, but one caught the bullet into its belly so I practically had to cut its bowels open and remove the contents for the lead test. The smell haunted me for several days. Back in the day to use the speakers in the front. I was at work and had helped a resident onto the toilet. Went and did a few things and when I came back poop everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Not just in the bathroom, but also in their bedroom. And I had to clean it all. Even out of the TV speakers. Also, not a fun way to find out someone has bica because yes, it was also eaten. When I was in the low point of my alcoholism and unable to require vodka, I drank my bong cleaner liquid isopropyl alcohol mixed with whatever remnants of my bong junk. Don't really remember what happened after that fuzzy memories of my partner and I in the back of ambulance. But I do remember what that shit tasted like. Makes me gag thinking about it. Took a bar mat shot so I could clear a sizable running tab. 2 a.m. End of night. All the overflow of every drink that day sitting in a stank rubber mat dumped into a highball glass. I still remember chewing the curdled baileys and layers of curacao, twaka, and strange amalgamation of whiskey, vodka, oj, etc. Pretty sure there was a cigarette butt in there too. I was made to pick up the dissected skinless upper limb of a human during my vita of human anatomy in my first year of med school because I forgot to bring the rubber gloves. I still remember the feeling of cold fluid seeping from the flesh on my hands and my hands smelling like rotten garlic for the whole day. I still managed to eat my lunch though, smiley face. Cleaning up half rotten pig parts off the deck of a ship in my bare hands because no one else could stomach the smell when we were taking garbage off the ship. I don't know why I didn't smell the ammonia in that moment, but I knew it needed to be removed or we wouldn't be going home any sooner by crying over it. Just navy things. Oh the other day at work I had to clean up the area. It was in the patient bathroom. It was on the floor, splashed up onto the walls and all over the toilet. We had to remove the actual toilet seat to clean it properly because it got into the screw part that keeps the toilet seat attached. 
absolutely putrid. First year of nursing school I worked on a geriatric ward and had to clean up a really demented senior patient who shit himself from head to toe with diarrhea. I even had to clean the bathroom floor afterwards. The accident wasn't his fault but he was so fucking mean and laughed at me the entire time. I shit my pants while on a run in a new city. I realized I had to go around 4 miles into the run and both public restrooms I knew about were closed. My running shorts had a jock strap, so most of it stayed in my shorts as I slowly walked home and avoided eye contact with everyone I saw. In third grade a girl I had a crush on offered me a cool mechanical pencil in class if I dragged my tongue across the entire classroom floor. I did it twice and she didn't give it to me she also didn't date me when I asked her out. I guess I was down bad in third grade. Became a nurse and then decided to go into aged care with my degree. Still scratching my head on that one. Not a day goes by where I'm not cleaning up someone's feces, chronic and cancerous wounds, sputum, etc. But someone has to, I guess. Whilst being a fifth wheel with two other couples, I was playing looking sucking on the tit of one of the married women. She had recently had a kid but was done with breastfeeding so she said she didn't have any breast milk. She was wrong. While having sex my GF sometimes when fingering her ass I would be unwillingly touch her poop. I would never say anything about it and would just continue finger her ass less deeper to avoid continue touching the poop. I once dropped an unopened bottle of tonic wine into a portal and before I had even thought twice, I had reached in and recovered it. Reader, I drank the wine. Yes I washed it. No I didn't get sick. I made out with my older sister when I was young. I sometimes act like I forgot it but it's still in my memories because not only I enjoyed it at that time but no I look back, yuck sweet home Alabama. Swallow a mosquito. I was so annoyed by them biting me, a swarm of them chasing me at the park one night playing soccer, that I mock bit into the air and actually caught one, and just gulped it down. Made myself a cheese salad sandwich. Was carrying it upstairs and tripped. Sandwich all over the place. I was starving. So quickly reassembled it off the floor and continued with my day. SHing my pants in school and my dumbass 7 year brain thought it would be a good idea to clean it with my shoes and so I desperately tried to clean that SHT, and it failed obviously. Let him put it in my mouth after it was in my butt. In the heat of the moment, it's okay, right? Smiley face. Edit calm down, everybody. I only did it once. And I was referencing clerks to lol. When I was in the midst of heavy addiction I ate a Burger King sandwich that had been in a car for 3 days and then in a trash can. It was literally the only thing I had. When I was working so late when I would get home if I was particularly tired and hungry I would just pull out a can of soup, pull the lid and eat it from the can cold. When I was little, I chewed on my dirty flip flop after going to a public bathroom. For months I was called a flip flop girl and my parents even have it on video. Lol. In high school, I was a weird awkward loner kid. I was offered a crisp $20 to take one bite out of a piece of pizza from the garbage bin. I ate the whole slice. I got stuck in the stall of a public toilet as a kid. I tried banging the door and nobody was outside to help me get out. Ended up crawling under the floor. Yikes. Do you know those little football goals, they post in urinals? There's this little football hanging so you know where to piss, to score a goal. I licked the ball, shaved my pubes in a mall bathroom. I don't know why or what I was thinking at that moment but I just bought a razor from the store went to the bathroom and stood it. At a bar in St. John's, I kissed a dead fish to become an honorary Newfoundlander. About 30 people kissed the same dead fish before it got to me. I came home drunk and skunk from the pub with a curry. Halfway through the curry I vomited onto plate. I ate the rest of my curry in the vomit. Changed bed sore dressings. Wounds down to the bone. Horrid smell. Lots of sloughing off rotten tissue, the works. Somebody had to do it. Deep cleaned a McDonald's grill. Has not been cleaned in a year. The amount of buildup and gunk was eat fast food. I licked several Marble Park benches in my college days. There was a time I felt like I had to lick anything shiny and smooth. Put my big toe in a crack whore's pussy. Well in all fairness. She put it in there. I may have been toe raped. When I was in the depths of my heroin addiction I used water from a puddle on the side of the road to shoot up. Staying married to a narcissistic demon of a woman. I feel disgusted with myself every time I think about it. I voluntarily licked some dust when I was younger. Wanted to get sick to skip school I think. Didn't work. I grew up on a farm. Apparently stuff I thought were just normal chores is considered repulsive. Had a boyfriend who liked me to vomit on him during sex. 
Sometimes I think you tainted my food. Scooped a colony of maggots out of the ground in an outdoor animal enclosure with my hand. I've asked and let many ladies sit on my face within hours of meeting them. I'm addicted. Lick a friend's sock while she was wearing it. The worst part was I offered to lick it. Ate my wife ass. It started off with regular eating her out then I got out of control. Shat on a piece of paper and threw it over a fence over licking a primary school. Eat 300 raw morning glory flower seeds, in hopes of achieving enlightenment. Dipped everything I ate for a week in banana pudding, no matter what it was. My sis was taking too long on the toilet so I pissed in corner of my room. Giving oral to a partner while having a sore throat and lots of phlegm. Crawled on a canal that had sewage food waste god knows what else. Diapers of my child. Every day. Every night. Every morning. Drink a beer full of cigarette butts at the bar in 2007. Joined the army and fought George Bush's illegal wars. Drank a shot of whiskey with human toe in it. Twice. Coke rails off the dick of a dude I didn't even like. 